Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who ratings analysis video. In this particular edition I will be looking at series 14, series 1, season 40, the 2024 series of Doctor Who and comparing it to the special episodes that were broadcast between 2022 and 2023 covering the period from Eve of the Daleks through to the church on Ruby Road. So We've seen our Series 14 ratings, our Overnights and Plus 7s. If you haven't seen the videos on these particular numbers, feel free to go back and watch them in the playlist. Uh, but these are our um, figures for viewership that we are going to be comparing with these episodes. So, Eve the Daleks broadcast New Year's Day 2022. That managed to achieve an overnight figure of 3.21 million. Legend of the Sea Devils broadcast in April 2022 saw a drop to our lowest overnight figure at the time of 2.20 million. The Power of the Doctor, which saw Jodie Whittaker's uh, Doctor regenerate into the 14th Doctor, played by David Tennant, saw uh, an increase in interest and therefore an increase in viewership, so the overnight figure rose to 4.04 million. And then following the broadcast of The Power of the Doctor in October 2022, it was over a year to wait before we had our 60th anniversary specials celebrating uh, 60 years of Doctor Who. November 2023 into December 2023. So the Star Beast managed to achieve 5.08 million viewers. But then as is a consistent trend, the initial interest uh, starts to tail off. And second episode in the trilogy, 4.83 million for Wild Blue Yonder. And finally, The Giggle of 4.62 million. Finally, Shoot Your Gat was uh, first solo episode of Doctor Who on Christmas Day 2023. Achieved 4.73 million viewers overnight. So again, those are the numbers of viewers watching Doctor Who as it is transmitted on BBC One. Following that broadcast... Viewers had seven days in order to be counted for our plus seven uh, rating. And even the Daleks managed to reach an audience of 4.40 million viewers. S decrease again for 3.47 million for Legend of the Sea Devils. Picking back up again for the Power of the Doctor, that regeneration episode. And celebrating the BBC's anniversary, the Power of the Doctor achieved 5.3 million viewers. And then the following year, in November 2023, we had the Star Beast, and that managed to achieve 7.61 million viewers. While Blue Yonder, 7.14, before the giggle dropped below the 7 million mark to 6.85 million viewers over seven days. And finally, the Church on Ruby Road, over seven days, managed to reach 7.49 million viewers. So just looking at our graph, plotting those points. So... We see that initial drop from either the Daleks to Legend of the Sea Devils. Picking back up for Jodie Whittaker's final episode, the 60th anniversary trilogy with David Tennant as the 14th Doctor, and then Shooty Gatwa's debut episode, I guess you could call it, or first full episode, The Church on Ruby Road, broadcast on Christmas Day 2023. And then you see a sudden drop in our overnight ratings, for series 14 proper, so 2.55 for Space Babies, and although relatively consistent in comparison to uh, the highs and lows of uh, the specials overall, uh, it certainly doesn't reach the heights of uh, Jodie Whittaker's departure or any of the 14th Doctor specials. And unfortunately, we also managed to drop below Legend of the Sea Devils for our overnights with Boom and the Legend of Ruby Sunday plus Dot and Bubble and Rogue all achieving less viewership on transmission than the Legend of the Sea Devils managed. And again, similar graph, but for our plus seven ratings, following the same pattern, same trend, consistency for Series 14, uh, but... The lows still there, dot and bubble 3.38, uh, the only one just dipping under the Legend of the Sea Devils, and 
nothing from series 14 comes close to those 60th anniversary specials starring David Tennant and Catherine Tate. Uh, this graph is an accumulative graph showing our combination of our overnight rating with our plus sevens. So we can see how our overnight rating is significantly lower for series 14 when compared to those 60th anniversary specials, the Star Beast, Wild Blue Yonder and the Giggle. And similarly, our overnight two plus seven, so the additional audience that uh, Doctor Who was able to achieve after transmission, in this case, uh, uh, of series 14, you also include the pre-transmission because it was available on the iPlayer uh, beforehand. So an average of about 1.44 million uh, viewers added for our overnight to plus seven um which is more than the three jody whitaker episodes but lower than the 60th anniversary specials and the christmas special once again you can see how the overnight number is consistently larger than the overnight to plus seven whether that includes pre-transmission for uh series 14 or post-transmission which uh, applies to all of the episodes. So once again, overnight numbers, hugely important because it takes up the largest proportion of our plus seven figure. Another comparison, so uh, our four screen chart positions. Previous episode, we had a look at our seven day chart uh, and compared um, uh, series 14 episodes as we went through and saw what other uh, television offerings were Doctor Who's competition for the particular weeks and you can see how uh, we have particular lows in terms of chart position for Eve of the Daleks and Legend of the Sea Devils at 26 and 25 respectively but Jodie Whittaker's departure episode came fifth very respectable position within the chart and the Church on Ruby Road Christmas Day episode reached third in the chart for Christmas week again also particularly impressive Unfortunately, series 14 variation from 10th down to 24th, a uh, fair amount of consistency overall, but a low of 24 back down towards where Legend of the Sea Devils and Eve of the Daleks managed and not quite reaching the heights of the Church on Ruby Road or the power of the Doctor. Similarly, our plus seven audience share. So again peaks are higher for the specials and the low is lower for the specials as well whilst we have an element of consistency across uh, series 14 by comparison so uh, the star beast showed a good amount of interest and managed to achieve a 44.3 percent audience share very decent when compared to the legend of the sea devils which managed less than half of that at 20.6%. By comparison, series 14, we have that variation between 32.4% and 21.6%. So overall a deterioration and less uh, uh, variability than the specials achieved. But that's not unsurprising given uh, series 14 was weekly transmissions when compared to uh, the specials, which were very sporadic and uh, often um, quite a few uh, months apart. So just to summarize our 2022-2023 specials averaged an overnight rating of 4.1 million when compared series 14's 2.27 million. The seven day rating 6.04 million compared to series 14's 3.71 million. The seven day rating share averaged at 33.5% series 14 27.7% and the ch average chart position 13th for the specials and 16th for series 14. So unfortunately overall the averages suggest that the 2022-2023 specials overall performed better than series 14. So a bit of a negative to finish on series 14 not quite matching the overall specials that we were treated to between 2022 and 2023 in terms of viewership and audience shares and chart positions. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that little video. 
if you did give the video a like please feel free to share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll be alerted when the next video drops and i look at another bit of dog 2 ratings analysis in the meantime thank you for watching and i'll see you again bye for now